By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And you can hear it, right? We've got some nice spooky beats today, and we're joined by Dr. Blake, a.k.a. Mr. Taggle Maggot. And uh, I'm playing against him in this Halloween-themed episode, right? So I'm looking forward to this. Um, he's playing with a mono black creatureless Taggle Maggot deck, and I'm fighting him with my deck, Backwater Poison. It is a black and green poison deck. Now, before I start with the uh, deck deck, I first like to point out that, as always, Halloween episode or no Halloween episode, you can also skip this section by checking the description below because there you will find several timestamps. One of those timestamps reads MTG Games. Click on there and it'll take you straight to the games. Right, so if you love that, go and check it out. Um, and also, this video has something new because what I've done is I've just recorded real life play, so you can just hear us, me talking to my opponent, my opponent talking back, and you can kind of get a full vibe of what it is like to play an old school magic game, what the vibe is like. So, I thought, you know, why not do it like this? So, please let me know in the comments below after watching it what you think, and uh, if you've enjoyed it or not, or if you'd rather have me commentate throughout the whole match okay guys thank you very much and enjoy halloween enjoy the season now we're going to start with the deck decks i'm going to start with the deck of my opponent plague doctor let's have a look at this taggle maggot brew and here we see the deck of plague doctor so taggle maggot extravaganza right this is a creatureless deck and uh, I just got to laugh. It's all started with the card Taggle Maggot. And Taggle Maggot, it's so beautiful. So let's maybe first focus on what that card actually does. You don't see it often. So it's an enchant creature for two black and two. So it's four mana to cast. And then what it says is at the beginning of the upkeep of enchanted creatures controller, put a minus O minus one counter on that creature. So it's slowly going to eat away at the creature, right? Then when the creature dies, something magical happens. When enchanted creature dies, that creature's controller chooses a creature that Taggle Mag Maggot could enchant. If the player does, return Taggle Maggot to the battlefield under your control attached to that creature. If they don't, return Taggle Maggot to the battlefield under your control as a non-aura enchantment. It loses enchant creature and gains at the beginning of that player's upkeep. Taggle Maggot deals one damage to that player. So what that means is when you're playing with it, if it kills a creature, it moves on to the next creature that you control. So let's say I've got a 1-1. One -one. The next turn, my 1-1 one -one is dead. I'm playing Elves of the Deep Shadow, for example. My Elves of the Deep Shadow dies. Then if I have another creature like uh, my, um, my Scorpion, I got to put it on that creature. And then when all my creatures are dead, it turns into this enchantment that deals one damage to me during the upkeep. So Taggle Maggot is, I mean, it's super slow. But once it's going and against the right deck, especially against like players that play with a lot of smaller creatures, it can be super annoying. Now, of course, Taggle Maggot, it's four mana. It kills your creature slow. So what are you going to do to make sure that you don't die before that? Well, there are a few tricks here in the deck of Plague Doctor. So one of those is that he's playing with four mazes of if. So that's really important. Those mazes are going to kind of help him keep the creatures away. Another thing that he's doing is he's playing with four singles, so some land removal to kind of win that tempo game. He's also playing with dark rituals to try to get the taggle maggots out early. He's also uh, playing with skull of orm to kind of get some recursion going, maybe get the taggle maggot back if it's somehow destroyed. Um, he's also playing with one abyss, which of course is a killer card in this deck because he's playing creatureless. And can you imagine if he like first enchants a few creatures with taggle maggot? and then plays that abyss to kind of speed it up and that means that the opponent which is going to be me is basically going to have a lot of taggle maggot emblems and on top of that he's also playing with underworld dreams which is a card that of course deals a damage for each card that i draw right so if he has an underworld dreams and a taggle maggot enchantment i already take two damage every single turn that's actually quite a lot and talking about two damage he's also playing with a card and i i love this i love the fact that he's also playing with this card artifact possession it's an enchant creature uh, sorry an enchant artifact from antiquities for one black and two that reads whenever enchanted artifact becomes tapped or player activates an ability of enchanted artifact without uh, tap in its activation cost artifact possession deals two damage to that creature creatures controller so 
basically what he can do because he's also playing with relic barriers he can use this he can first enchant one of my artifacts with the uh, artifact possession and then he can tap it with its relic barrier dealing two damage to me every time he does that so i i, I just think that's super cool that synergy that you don't see that often and that actually would be ideal in forgotten combos so i'm probably gonna steal this idea from you plague doctor and put it in a forgotten combos episode uh we also see another card talking about tapping that works with the tap mechanic that that card is called spirit shackles two black to cast for an enchant creature you can enchant uh, any target creature whenever that creature becomes tapped it gets a minus o minus two counter so that's going to be really good against my marsh vipers because they have two toughness so I think, I mean, this deck is just looking absolutely hilarious. Um, I also have a sideboard. Let me look that up and, and show that on the screen for you guys. So this is the sideboard. In the sideboard, he's got three black vice, two warp artifacts, two paralyze. He's got those glooms against white. So I don't, I'm not really concerned about the glooms because, you know, I'm not playing with white. Um, he's playing with death grip that I'm a little bit concerned about because I am playing with green, but I'm mostly concerned about the Rod of Ruin. And this may sound odd, but I'm playing with quite a lot of smaller creatures and Rod of Ruin can deal one damage so it can ping my creatures down. And I also think that Rod of Ruin in combination with Tagle Maggot, that is quite nice. So that's pretty good. I also think Paralyze is pretty good against my deck and I'm playing a poison deck. Talking about that, let's take a look at my deck. And here we see my deck Backwater Poison. Now, I always love uh, to kind of try to make poison decks, right? I know a lot of old schoolers do because in old school, it is really a challenge to play with poison because you you only have two creatures and you've got Snake Basket. So maybe let's first focus on the creatures. We've got Pit Scorpion, one black and two to cast for a 1-1 one, one that reads, if Scorpion damages opponent, opponent gets a poison counter, right? And if you have 10 or more poison counters, you die. So we've got the Scorpion, but remember it's three to cast for a 1-1. One, one. Then we also have Marsh Viper, which is even more expensive to cast. It's four to cast, it's green, and at least it's a 1-2, so it's got a little bit more toughness, which is good in this matchup, because remember I'm playing against a Tagle Maggot uh, deck uh, but the cool thing about the marsh viper is i really think it's a lot better than the scorpion the marsh viper actually gives two poison counters so with one hit the opponent gets two poison counters again when he's at 10 he dies so that is super cool right now when we look at the rest of the deck i'm also playing with a serpent generator now serpent generator is an artifact that allows me to make one one snakes that are actually uh, also give a poison counter whenever they damage the opponent so that's pretty cool now the idea of this deck it's pretty simple there is mana denial in this deck there's tempo because i want to have a tempo advantage right i'm also playing with elves of deep shadow one green to cast tap and get a black mana i also get some damage but i think elves of deep shadow in a ha halloween themed deck i have to play that as well um maybe it's a little you know side information the reason why I thought this would be cool as a Halloween deck is because it's kind of your nightmare, right? That you're trick or treating and, and you know, you're standing in front of the house and you're knocking and some creep opens up and gives you some candy. You think it's candy and all of a sudden you find like a poisonous snake or a scorpion in your trick or treat basket, right? So that's kind of the the horror idea that I had in mind when I was making this uh uh, this deck and then I thought of the Bayou art and I thought maybe you're like in the backwaters and you're trying to trick or treat there which of course is not a good idea and all you can find are scorpions and marsh vipers you know that's uh, pretty creepy but um, um, let's go back to the idea of the deck right so I've got four sinkholes and four uh, ice storms so if I manage to get a turn one elves of deep shadow I will always be possible well not always but I will be very likely to uh, be able to cast one of those two land removal spells so i want to cast my land removal so i want to get like mana up with my elves of deep shadow i want to get my opponent low on mana with the ice storms and the sinkholes and then i'm also playing with three crumbles obviously to kind of get those soul rings out of the way get those mocks in out of the way you know make sure that my opponent cannot go faster than i am um, now I'm not sure if it's gonna work because Plague Doctor is playing with Dark Ritual so that's a great card against this strategy so you know my best hope is to kind of deny him from mana and uh, make sure that I'm simply going faster and that he cannot cast any you know anything to stop my creature so I can just keep attacking now he is playing with four mazes of if I think I've got a really good deck against those mazes here with my land removal I'm also playing with four paralyzed those cards are gonna be dead cards so after the first game, I'm definitely going to take them out. Probably I'll put in the other crumble 
and the Tranquilities. I think Tranquilities are going to be super good against this uh, this deck. I'm only playing two though in the sideboard, so that's the max I can put in. Um, I'm probably also going to board in a Crumble. Now maybe you're wondering why are there Hypnotic Specters in this deck? Well, I guess you know Hippie is kind of creepy, isn't it? Um, but the main reason they're in there is they function kind of as a lightning rod for my poison creatures because the thing is when you play an hypnotic specter you're forcing your opponent to come up with an answer for them they have to get rid of them or you know they have to discard cards from the hand nobody wants to do that so they're focusing on getting rid of the hypnotic specter hopefully underestimating my poison creatures so i'll sl slowly kill them with my poison creatures while he is um you know trying to deal with my hippie so that's that's really the gist of this i thought i need a really good creature next to my poison creatures to kind of give my opponent force my opponent to for first deal with that really good creature and then when it's too late he's got hopefully then he's got time to deal with my poison creature so that's the bigger plan um another really nice card that i want to highlight here is um knowledge vault so knowledge vault i think the art is really cool it's stunning and it's actually better than it is it can two and tap put the top card from your library under knowledge vault then when you sack knowledge vault you get all the cards that are in knowledge vault but you do have to discard your hand but it's it's really it's perfect you know when you just have this card early you just start building up cards under the knowledge vault and at the right moment you sack it the cool thing is you can sack it whenever so also in response to removal and you don't have to tap and sack it it's just sack it and you get the card so knowledge vault can be tapped right so you can activate it one last time an opponent for example puts a disenchant on it you can activate it one last time sack it get all those cards in your hand and yeah you do lose cards that you have in hand but i'm, I'm hoping that with this deck i'm gonna go quick enough so i have kind of an empty hand somewhere in mid game and then i can use my knowledge vault that's kind of dr the, dr uh, the dream i'm only playing with one knowledge vault of course but still anyway this is my deck we've looked at the deck of plague doctor i'm so looking forward to this let's go to the spooky halloween match um shall we roll for it sure yep do you want odds or even i'll take uh odds oh we can do a high we do a high roll that's bad okay let's just do a high roll uh, tied up with one. I got a four. Ah, All right, I got a three. Love to start. Okay. Halloween colored sleeves, I guess. Oh, nice, nice. Two, four, six, seven. Um, yeah, I can keep this. <sighs> Ah, <sighs> of course, on the Timmy channel, I got a mulligan. Yeah, man. Be careful that you don't oh, see your cards, by man. I could almost see your cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a bunch of lands, a dark ritual, and a skull of horn. Ooh, I would love a dark ritual. I'm oh, working yeah. on skull of horn, which I think is super Halloween-y. I'm also playing an artifact, which is, we'll see. Hopefully, I can cast it. Cool. It is very Halloween. -y. Okay. This is better. I'll keep this. And one least, goes to the bottom. At least you're on the draw. You know, that's, yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, well, surprise, so black and Halloween deck and pass the turn. Okay. Uh, swamp pass. Uh, play a forest and pass. It's easy. Yep. Nice and easy. Um, how about a relic barrier and pass? I'm going to force you to use something because I'm going to play a hypnotic specter. Okay. And pass the turn. Oh, this doesn't look good for you to me. Bring it on, man. Strip mine. Dark ritual. Abyss. Oh, an abyss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. Pass. So I'm going to untap. I'm going to lose the dude. Drop a turn. Oh, my God. The abyss is pretty brutal. Of course, it does go very against my uh, tackle maggot plan. Or if you play it first and then the abyss, right? Yeah, you typically want tackle maggot out first for sure. 
I'm gonna play a Knowledge Vault. So this is a very Halloweenish card, I think. Yep, yep. Um, nice. I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna play a creature now. <laughs> I was hoping for a Tangle Mega. Yeah, I know, I know. I couldn't find one. That's cool, man. <sighs> the problem was I couldn't find one, and if and if I if I lost the Abyss to Hypnotic Specter, it's like ugh. I, yeah, it's not expected as card you have to respond to. It, I, I'm actually using it in this deck as a lightning rod. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. um, I don't want to give away too much, but I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put this yep. green creature in and you're going to be forced to take care of it. Yeah. How about uh, I sinkhole the bayou? Uh, yeah, that, that definitely. And <clears throat> I'll put down a maze for turn. I'll pass, and I guess I'll tap the knowledge vault. So I'm going to untap, you're going to tap, and then in response, I think I'm going to actually use it. Okay. Let's see. Take a card from your library without looking and place it under the bolt. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to draw a turn. Um, I'm going to play a forest. I've got four cards in hand, and I'm going to pass the turn. All right. Swamp Pass. You want to untap? Do you want to tap the... Uh... So, when you activate it, I can tap it in response? Uh, yeah, but then it's still going to happen because it's um, right. an activated I'll ability. I'll do it the normal way then, yeah. Yeah, I think there's... Drop no... people tap it. Yeah, because then I have to make the decision without knowing what my draw right. is. And the cool thing is I can sack it. I don't have to tap to sack it. So it's quite... Oh, nice. Um... Ooh, that is interesting, but not interesting. Mm, I'm going to play a forest. Yep. And I got a pass. The abyss, man, it's killing me. Yeah, well, you might be able to get rid of it. I mean, you got green. You might have uh, some tranquility over there. Who knows? Uh, I, um, play, I play tranquility in the side, but I do have an answer for, for that one. But it's... Yep. Uh, pass. I'm going to untap. You want to tap it again? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use it. Three cards, draw. Ooh. I am going to. Sink all. Uh, one of your swamps. Okay. And I'm going to. Play a forest, three cards in hand, and then I'm going to pass the turn. I'm working on a plan. Okay, okay. Oh, not much going on for me. Um, I'll pass and I'll tap the knowledge ball. So this time I'm going to untap, I'm going to let it be tapped, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to tap six mana. Oh boy. For a desert twister, yeah, on your abyss. Yep, that'll do it. Actually, if I may, sorry, if I may change one thing because I'm yep. just bad in magic. I'm first going to play my strip mine, and then I'm going to tap. Okay. And then I'm going to twist because then I've got one green open. I'm going to tap the green. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to play an elves of deep shadow. Nice. And I'm going to pass the turn. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sinkhole the strip mine. Gotcha, gotcha. Smart pass. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a land short. I need another land. Pass. Draw. Play this. I'm gonna tap two. I'm going to cast a Pit Scorpion. Oh, nice. I'm going to <clears throat> tap the Knowledge Vault. Yeah. Uh, let's see, four cards. You know what? I'm going to stack the Vault. Okay. I'm going to draw, like, it's a good card draw. I'm getting four cards. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Ooh, look at this. Look at what I can do. I can play a Mox Pearl. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap three. And I'm going to cast... 
Uh, and Hypnotic Specter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass turn. Two cards in hand. All right, I got four. Man, oh man. Yes, yes, it's poison. <laughs> it's poison. Oh, You're going to if we poison or discard. This is going to be tough. You know what? I think keeping a card in my hand ups my chances of keeping the card that I want. Yeah. So I'll pass. Actually, I've, I've been in that boat as well where I just kept cards because, like, okay, it's, yeah. Yeah. I don't need to keep that card. Um, so let me get my, my real estate. Of course, I do have a Maze of Eth. You do, you do, you do. It's not ideal, but at least you have to choose. Mm hmm. Um, so I'm just gonna, you've got nothing, of course, you play creatureless, so I'm just gonna attack with everything. So what are you gonna do? Man, I should have made poison counters. Oh, uh, that'd be cool. Poison counters. So what are you gonna send back? Um. Under pressure. Yeah, for sure. I, I love think it. I'm gonna, I guess the hippie. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. Nice, so you get two damage. One of them being, actually this doesn't deal damage, does it? If score right, so damage, I gotta, the opponent, opponent gets a damage counter. Oh, it does damage you. So you get two damage and a poison counter. Two damage and a poison counter. Overpowered card, man. Yep. Um, and then, I'm gonna play a Pit Scorpion. Another one, yep. And look at what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna tap six mana. Serpent Generator. Oh Jesus. I think I think I've just finished Magic the Gathering. And yeah, you broke it. I'm gonna pass the turn and I just hope that you cannot find the mana to cast uh Oops. a Tangle Maggot, because Tangle Maggot would be real on this board. <sighs> well, I'm gonna drain life a pit scorpion. The yeah. untapped one. Yeah, the untapped one. So you're gonna gain one life? Yep. And I'll pass. And then during your upkeep, I think I'm gonna keep the serpent generator tapped. Okay. So in response, you're gonna use it, of course. Yep. So I think of just like this. Yeah. Okay. Now I gotta get some beads because I'm getting more poison counters for sure. Let's have a look. I'm, I'm right now. I'm trying to find the snake token. Oh, there! Poison snake. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw for the turn. Um, I'm gonna attack with my entire army. Yep. <clears throat> I have to send back the hippie. Yeah, so you take, take two damage and a poison catch. Yep. I got my beads. Um, and then it's your turn. I'm on one fifth of the way, man. Fresh man, I gotta get something going here. <sighs> I think I almost saw your card again. I think was that a Oh boy. All right. Okay. Let's see. Pay two for another relic barrier. And then I'll pass turn and tap the mox and the serpent generator. Okay. So I'm going to untap. So you do that. And in response, of course, I'm going to use. I'm going to get, I'm going to get killed by poison. Yeah, but you're, you're just not, if you're not drawing any land. Yeah. I want yeah. Draw. Okay. Um I'm gonna play out a swamp. Mm hmm And yeah, I'm gonna attack with my poisonous snake, my poisonous scorpion, my uh, my deep shadow elf, and of course my hippie. Send back the hippie and take three. Ooh, man, two poison. Uh, yeah. Oh, Lord. 
I'm going to pass the turn. So I'm at four poison counters, right? Yeah, there are four counters. Yeah, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping track here. All right. Well, this is kind of cool. I'll put artifact possession on the serpent generator. Artifact possession. Um, that that hurts me every time. Every time it's you take two every time it's tapped. I think. Let me see if I can find an artifact possession close by. Binders everywhere. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Artifact possession. Hmm. Oh. So I played that. <clears throat> I'll pass. It is and... really, really cool with the with the relic barrier. Yeah. Yep. So I'll pass and I'll tap the Mox and the Serpent Generator. So uh, yeah. So I'm untapping it, and you want to tap. So you respond. So you're going to use it, of course. But yep. you're going to take two damage. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to 18. I'm going to make an extra snake. This one still has summoning sickness. I'm going to drop yep. it. And I'm going to attack with my pit. Yep. I think I'm going, at this time, I think I'm going to maze the pit scorpion. Okay. Two, three, four, five. And... Yep. Two poison counters. Man. Man, oh man. And you also lose a card. And I also lose a card. Let me shuffle them up. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna roll the dice. Okay. I've got number three. Okay. Yeah, so not number three is gone. This one. Ooh. Oh. What a day for Timmy. I think uh, you're just doing me a favor. I think second game. <laughs> I think well, second you know, game. by this point, I could have more in my hand, so. Second game, you're going to gonna hurt me so bad. Um, I hope so. I'm going to pass the turn. You're going to get your revenge. And maybe, I mean, I'm not there yet, so I need two more turns. Well. If nothing changes. Yeah, I mean, I can drain life a pit scorpion. I mean, you're playing with four mazes, right? Yeah, four mazes, yep. So you're very unlucky here, let me find Mm-hmm, yep. And not finding any match. That's the Par for the course. And I will pass and tap the two artifacts. Tap, tap. So you're going to tap, of course, I'm going to activate again in response. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take two damage. So I'm going to go to 16. I'm going to drop a turn. Okay, now I have the um, nail in the coffin. But this one is summoning sickness, so it's not the nail in the coffin. But I can yeah. play an ice storm on your maze. Oof. And then I'm going to attack with everything again. Yep, I got to take it all. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm at four. Nine counters. Nine <laughs> poison counters. You know, on the way home from picking up my truck today, I did not expect to lose to uh, to poison counters yeah. in the least. Yeah. And I'm going to, well, I mean, this is the first game, man. So no yep. worries. Uh, I'm going to pass. All right. Is there is there a card that can save you now? I don't think so. Just add, yeah. Well, let's I, don't, I do not think so. Of course, there's the swamp. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> That is nice. Swamp. Can you play a magic? That would be awesome. <sighs> I can almost, I can now see your hand almost. The okay. Top of your yeah. <laughs> I mean, just to be cool, I'm going to play a Nova Pentacle. Ah, sweet. You can redirect the damage you get, right? Yeah, you got to pay three to tap it, though. So uh, that's game well. one. But that works so well against you. Okay, so just to, just to give me a good feeling, I'm just going to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you want to do me that favor, you're going to, of course, yep. tap this dude again. So I'm going to respond. Yeah. Um, going to go to 14, right? Mm-hmm. Another one of these. I'm going to drop a turn, and then I'm going to 
attack. Good poison. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, got, I don't want to kill you. I want to attack with these. Okay. The only one poison, of course. Right? Yep. 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 One poison. Boom. Dead. But now we're going to go into our sideboards. And we I'm are. Sure, I'm sure you've got some deck. I got some sideboard action. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Swamp Pass. Swamp and Pass. Forest. And a pass. Relic Barrier. Pass. Play a forest. Mm -hmm. Play a Mox Emerald. Mm -hmm. Tap three. You're going to Ice Storm one of your swamps. Yep. Find in hand and pass. That was a good ice storm pass. Do you want it? Do you want to tap this? Sure. Yeah. It's probably good. Yep. Oh man. Oh, I'm stuck with the mana. I'm stuck. I uh, gotta pass. Also stuck. Pass, tearing your upkeep, I'll tap the box. And tap, and tap, and then draw the turn. Yeah. This is good. Found a strip mine, but I'm, actually, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to pass. Yeah. Playing Underworld Dreams. Ooh, nice. And well, nice for you. Keep the yeah, keep the mocks tapped. Yeah, you're gonna keep this one tap. I'm gonna draw for turn, so I'm gonna go to 19. Okay. Um two, four, six, seven in hand. Let's see, I'm gonna play a crumble on the uh, relic area. Yep. So you're gonna gain two life. Yep. And I'm going to pass the turn. Underworld Dreams. Oh, dude, 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 I hear no. yeah. Five in hand, pass. Oh, boy, like when you do something out of the kindness in your heart, man. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to 17. Yeah, this I so adds up. It's nice. Um, yeah. let's see. But I have, I shouldn't complain because I've got the perfect solution. Mm -hmm. and tap three, a card from the sideboard, a tranquility. Oh boy, yep. Yep. So I'm gonna play a bayou afterwards and I'm gonna pass the turn. Five cards in hand. Mm. I'll sinkhole the bayou. Ooh, that was a good move. And pass. I'm gonna draw. Find the forest. Um, yeah, I am not going to strip a swamp. Yep. I'm going to tap four mana. I'm going to play a Marsh Viper. Okay. I'm going to pass the turn. Dark Ritual. Oh, are you going to play it? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, this Finally. Is because I have to deal damage to you. Oh, it's a zero, oh, one, zero. Okay, zero. Slash it's a zero, one. Yeah, so when I pass, it dies, and then the, your next upkeep, you'll start taking one. Actually, it doesn't die because it's a one, two. So I, I'm- One, two, okay. I'm, okay. There's no problem at all, man. 
I'm fine. Yep. Yep. I'm you're good. I'm going to untap. Hey, man, it's going to take counter. It's fine. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a one one snake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a card for turn. Um, um, I'm going to first attack. Yep. And you're going to get two poison counters from the Marsh Viper. Oof. Yeah, it's super good. good. It's super good. So I've got two nice counters. Um, I'm going to tap four mana and I'm going to play my Knowledge Vault. Yep. Four cards in hand and I'm going to pass it. Skull of Orm. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Pass. So I'm going to untap, then it's going to get its second counter, so it's going to die. Yep. And then um, this turns into an enchantment. Yep. So next turn, it's going to deal damage then. Correct. Okay. I'm going to draw the turn. Black source. That means I can cast. A bit scorpion. Uh huh. Uh, three cards in the end, and I'm gonna pass. I'm feeling super good, man. I got a pit scorpion. You've got two poison counters. Yep. I got this under control. <laughs> so little, you think? I'm a little scared that you've got so much land. Paralyze the pit scorpion. Nice, sweet. <clears throat> so you'll notice all my uh, sideboard cards are white bordered. Oh, nice. And actually, yeah. do you know what, what I boarded out? The Paralyzes. The uh, yeah. They're my main. Uh, they work really yeah. well with the uh, Mana Denial. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, pass. Okay, so I'm going to untap. In, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. On your end step, I'm first going to use my my Knowledge Bolt. Yep. And put a card under here. And now I'm going to take on my turn. So untap, upkeep. You're going to take a damage. And then in my upkeep, if I want, I can take four. Let me take I should do because you don't have any blockers. So I'm going to pay four to untap yeah. my little scorpion. Yep. Uh, I'm going to drop the turn. I'm going to play a swamp. Three in hand. I'm going to attack with my pit scorpion. Yep. Another poison one. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Do, 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 do. How many cards do you have in hand? Uh, two. Two cards. Okay. It's about to be one. Uh, Rod of Ruin. Oh, that's good. That is yep. good, man. Yeah. That is really problematic. Mm -hmm. All my creatures are like meaning creatures. Yep. That's... Okay. So it's my turn. Uh, oh, wait. On your end step, of course, I'm going to use my bolt again. Yep. Oh uh, man, it's problematic. Uh, okay, I'm gonna untap, and then I'm gonna take a damage. I'm gonna go to 15. Uh, I am gonna untap my. Let me do it like this. I'm gonna untap my one, two, three, four. I'm gonna untap Scorpion again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw for turn. This is probably. Your sideboard, man, you're killing it here. I'm gonna have to <laughs> with the pit scorpion. Yeah. All right, four poison counters. I'm at next. I can't complain after my tranquility. Uh, That's right. Uh, four cards in hand. I can play out a one one, but it's just gonna die. Um, mm -hmm. I got a pass and pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Pay four, tackle maggot on. Oh. <laughs> I promise I don't have uh, a stack of tackle maggots off camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll let the viewers decide. <laughs> the viewers decide. What a coincidence. Hey, honey, thanks for shutting that Wi Fi off quickly. 
Let's, uh, okay, wait, I'm just going for my binder to find more table members. Um, okay. we're gonna play it on this dude, right? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> now, this is gonna seriously add up. I need to find a tranquility. Yep. Pass. Um, so on your end step, again, I'm gonna use the knowledge bolt. Mm -hmm. so I've got three cards here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna untap. Upkeep, it's gonna get a counter, so it's gonna die. Mm -hmm. and so this floors, this is gonna go thin. I'm gonna take a damage from this. I'm going to 14. I got two of these, so I took a damage. I'm gonna drop a turn. Mm. Now I have two. I am going to. I'm gonna play a hypnotic specter. Yep. Um, also gonna play an elves of deep shadow. Okay. I've got two cards in hand, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. All right. Now I got all the lands. You got all the lands. You've got the. Uh, I got all the lands, lands now. Um, I guess I should probably play it. I'll play an abyss. What? <laughs> Dang. Okay, cool beast. Um, no cards. In, no cards in hand. Okay. So on your end step, I'm gonna of course use the knowledge bolt again. Yep. So that's gonna take up to four cards. Um, then I'm gonna untap. In my upkeep. I gotta stack a creature. Right? So I'm going to set yep. the elves. Yep. Take two damage. I'm going to go to 12. I'm going to draw. Two cards in hand. Um, yeah, no cards in hand. Yeah, no cards. No cards. I'm going to attack for two. Yep. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to tap everything. I'm going to play mm -hmm. a Hypnotic Spectre and I'm going to play a Hell's Caretaker. Better. Yeah, which is my combo piece with Serpent Generator to get the, uh, the little poison creatures back. Um, should I do that? Yeah, you know, no. Sorry, I'm kind of... Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to stack the Knowledge Vault. So my Hurricane, I'm going to put that in the bin. And I'm okay. Take the four cards. <clears throat> Yep. I'm going to play a Bayou because I haven't played a land yet. Three cards in hand, and I'm going to pass the turn. Wow. Um, Those Staggle Maggots are doing work, man. Pass. I'm going to untap. They are, they are, finally. Finally. It's an upkeep. Got a sack creature. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm actually gonna sack the health caretaker to itself. I'm gonna do that first before the uh abyss trade. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm gonna get back. A Marsh Viper. Mm -hmm. And then the trigger goes from the Abyss, and I'm going to sack the Hippie. Okay. And then, this is in my upkeep, then I'm going to go and draw. So I'm going to take two damage. I'm going to go to yep. two. Mm -hmm. Play this one out. I'm going to tap four and cast another Marsh Viper. Damn. I'm going to attack you for two. Yep, 15. Let's see, I've got two cards in hand. This is an interesting match, I think, the second one. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's fine. I'm going to pass. Right, I think. Um, you yeah, it's good. Your end step, I'm going to Skull of Orm for Underworld Dreams. Yeah, nice, man. Yep. It's untap. so nice to see a skull activation. 
for sure. Always good. Um, I'll play the Underworld Dreams, and I'll pass. I also like the skull as kind of anti-hippie tech. You know, you disc it's too bad you can't choose what to discard, but right. if you put any shaman in the bin, you're like, oh, I can take it. Yep. It's not, you know, it's not great, but it's funny. Um, right. Yeah, so I'll take three damage. So I go mm -hmm. down to seven. Um, I'm going to sack my hippie. Because I want to okay. keep, keep my snakes. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I already took the damage from the draw. Yep. Um. Okay. okay, okay. I'm going to attack with both these dudes. Yep. I get uh, four. Whoa, you take four poison counters. Wow. Whoa, this is bad. Bad news, bears. Um, and now I gotta think. I've got a plan. Four, six. You play a serpent generator. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play a sinkhole on one of your swamps. Yep, I guess in response, I'll tap three to ping you for one. Oh yeah, that's actually gonna matter, I think. I'm on six now. <laughs> oh, this, I love this game, man. Yeah, it's fun. I'm gonna pass the turn to you. All right. The cool thing is that both of our decks are showing what they can do. Yep. Which is cool, like the first game, we didn't really see your deck. Mm-hmm. Chat. Mm. You're at six, huh? I, I, by the way, I love using power in these type of decks. I think it's just cool. Yeah, I mean, that's the Jet's the only piece of power I have. I don't think I'm going to get the uh, Black Lotus anymore, so I'm going to keep my Alphas. and. Uh... You've got a Blackboard of Jet, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Also, you're, I the, trade... you're the Black player, oh, right? What's up? You're, you're the Black player, and it's really your color. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I like it more than a Lotus. I know Lotus is, you know, so iconic, but... To be a black player and have a beta jet is just so nice. I agree. I traded um, uh, Alpha Mana Vault, Alpha Howling Mine, and two Urnum Dejins for it. You traded for it, that's cool. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I traded for my Mox Sapphire. And, and nice. Then, one of the cards will be Abyss and a Guardian Beast. Yep. A lot of, but it's cool to trade cards. Like nice. Um, yeah, sure. All right. Good. All right. So I drew a card. It was the jet for. Big man. Yep, and you're at you're on you're at six. Yes. Can you stop saying those scary things? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Drain I'm, drain, I'm gonna drain life you for four, so tackle maggot kills you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do you the honors, just like you did the honors. <laughs> you I'm just gonna take my whole turn and stop. Do you want All me right. to take my turn? Yep. Okay, so yes. I'm gonna Upkeep and while while the damage is still on the stat, I'm first yep. gonna make my serpent generator. Yep. The snake. Because that works together really well with the abyss. So and then I'm gonna sack my snake to the abyss, but then I yep. gotta take the tackle mega. So that's right. Yep. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is so sweet. Okay. Yeah. Fun. Number three, man. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Love game, love game three videos. All right, you're on the play. Ooh, I got a great opening. Do I? Yeah. Good. I think I do. I think I do too, actually. Tapity tapity tap, and a silver yep. library. Four cards. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And yep. turn. Yeah, that's good, right? Oh yeah. Like Sylvan turn Ooh. one. You can't complain. Sylvan turn one, yeah. Soul ring turn one. Ooh, Ooh. that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna draw three. Well, look at three. Um... <clears throat> I gotta do. Actually, I gotta put my life back. Ooh. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Two. Two, two four. I think, yeah, I'm going to draw all three. I'm going to drop to 12. Wow. 
I know, but I, I, I can, yeah, I can do a okay. pretty good turn. Vika, the first thing I'm going to do is play Crumble on your sword. Oh yeah, that's good. And now, you're going to gain a life right from the Crumble, right? Yeah. Um, look at this, another Mox. I'm going to attack oh. three. Unfortunately, not a Pit Scorpion. That's okay. But, I can uh, deal with that. This is a problem. I'm, I'm yep. sure you're worried. I'm going to pass it to you. I'm pretty happy with myself. <clears throat> Uh, actually, I'm going to go back. I'm taking this back. Put a paralyze on it. Oh, I did. You see how that's bad. Yeah. Pass. That was my mess up. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I took I took that game one, right? I took something back. Um... Ooh, this is, this is kind of tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to get one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack first. Maze it. I'm going to send back. Makes sense. Um, and I'm going to tap four mana. Here she comes. The Marsh Viper. Oh God! I can't it. believe I'm scared of Marsh Viper all over again. It's like a, it's a 1995 all over again. Yeah, man. But I love this this combination because you got to stop the hippie or else you lose a card. But you don't want to. Right, right, it. yeah. It's so funny. Yep. Um, I pass. Like I said, I put it in there more as a lightning rod. Yep. Oh, I made a similar deck with them with Evil Eye. Oh, I love before. Evil Eyes. Yeah, it's so cool. And everybody kills these, and then the Evil Eye comes and they have no answer for it. It's really yep. <laughs> Uh, swamp for sure. Um, evil Eyes will a great Halloween card. Yeah, yeah, I have an Evil Eyes deck. Ah, sweet. Yep, I'll send you the picture after this. Um, oh man, I think I'm going to... Uh-oh. I'm afraid of poison counters. I'm going to put Spirit Shackle on that uh, Marsh, Marsh Viper. Spirit Shackles. I should have a Spirit Shackles. I think I sent you a I sent you a German copy last yeah. year, I think. But I mean I definitely I definitely have been that German copy. Oh here, I got an English one. So um oh it's oh, it's minus oh minus two. Uh-huh. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty big. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Is it my goal? Yes, go. I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna look at the top three. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna draw one. And I'm thinking, I mean, this card is, is, is great, but pretty bad against your Underworld Dreams. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tap three and I'm gonna cast a Tranquility. Oh, yeah. So, yes, I'm gonna kill my own Sylvan, but hey, man, mm -hmm. some extra cards. Good. And now I can attack. Woo! Oh, man. I need these cards. I'm going to maze the hippie and take one and two poison counters. Here we go again. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> my second name. Uh, I'm going to play. Yeah. Get up and pass it. Swamp. Hmm. Skull of Orm pass. Untap. Drop a turn. Um, three cards in hand. I'm just, I'm just gonna attack with everything. Yeah. Um, I'll maze the hippie and I get two more poison counters and I'm taking uh, two, three, four. You're making my day, man. Oh, God. Um, 
The second main, more problems, it's Scorpion. Yup. You got a pass turn. These are adding up. Yeah, but if you now find the land, you can start playing your Tackle Maggots again. Okay. Tackle Maggot on Pit Scorpion. That makes absolute sense. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap. upkeep. So it's gonna get a counter, it's gonna die. And now yep. I'm gonna put it on another creature, right? Yep. So I'm gonna put it on my Elves of Deep Shadow. Okay. I'm gonna draw. Um, I think, I think I found my ticket. Because I got land removal, I can play an Ice Storm on your mace. Oh. Now, oh yeah, I'm gonna attack with everything because this one's gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. So another four, and two more poison counters. And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Wow, tied up at twelve, just like that. Yeah, I did. I found. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah, one ice storm that, that crumble was really good, I feel, right? On the mm -hmm. board. Uh oh. I'm gonna drain life the uh Marsh Viper for two. Wow. Which is insane. I can't believe I'm doing that instead of AMP. <laughs> but it, yeah, I love it, man. But now that, of course this is gonna go on the hip, so the hippie will die. Man. Yeah, and I get I gained two life. Oh man! Yes. I'm gonna untap. Um, let's see, this is something that I can do with now. Okay, so it's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Jump. This is also cool to see this Daggle Maggot doing so much work. It is cool. Yeah. I'm gonna draw. Um, I especially love the um, reflection of the skull in the Tackle Maggot's face. That red eye. That is well spotted. I've never seen that before. Isn't it cool? Yeah. It is super cool. Thank yep. you for mentioning that. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about old school art. Like you keep discovering stuff. Oh yeah. Um. I think I think I've got to I think I've got to do it. I got to keep pressure on. I mean, this is yeah right because it's gonna go yeah. slow. Um, yep. I'm pass. I mean, if you've got another one, you've got another one. How many cards do you have in hand? Uh, three. Three? Okay, that's pretty good still. Three cards. Um, yes, yep. pass the turn. Oh, it's already attacked, so you're going to lose. Oh. Yep, you're swinging for two, so I'm taking two. Three cards. We'll do two, four, six. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to roll for it. I'm going to roll. Yep. One, two, three. I got five. So that's in the third one, right? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Sinkhole. Beautiful black boarded sinkhole. They look so much better than white board. Oh, for sure. Um, Although I do love me some, uh, I do love uh, unlimited sometimes. Well, I, I think I'm the same like you. When it's all white boarded, I like it, or all black boarded. Yeah. 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 Right. Um, I'm going to pass, or like what you did when the sideboard's uh, all white boarded. Yep. I mean, if I have a deck that I only I can only you know there's a play set of white border cards like uh Psy Blast <clears throat> and that's the only white border card I need to put more white border in to, to even it out a little bit more yeah yeah I, I can't just have one one in there all right um tackle maggot on um or not what do you oh you can read on this oh he's yeah I might as well put it on the uh hypnotic spec Wow, that's so interesting. So then it's going to die, and you got to put both Tangle Maggots on the Viper. Yep. Wow. wow. Pass. Wow. Okay, so untap, upkeep, so it's going to get two counters, so it's going to die. Yep. So it's going to go on this poor little Marsh Viper. I got it. Tranquility, tranquility, tranquility. <sighs> I'm going to attack. I got two cards in here. Um, yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna attack with the bike. Yep. One here, two here. Oh boy. Yeah, but it's gonna die next turn. Uh, I know, but still, still two, two away. 
I'm going to pass the turn. Two cards in hand. Um, so, okay. yes, yeah, so I've attacked. Uh, yep. I'm not going to play anything, and I'm going to pass the turn. So you've got eight poison counters. But my yep. man's going to die. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Uh, Underworld Dreams. Pass. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to untap. In my upkeep, my snake's going to die first. So I'm going to gain two of these emblems. Then I'm going yep. to draw for turns. So I'm going to take one damage from the dreams. Yep. I'm going to play a body. How many cards do you have in hand? Two. Two cards in hand. Um, I'm going to tap three. Ugh. You got a pit scorpion. Okay. I'm gonna. This is so hard. I mean, I've already played two of those. I've got one maze in the bin. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass the turn. I'm gonna pass the turn. I got one card in here. You have another tag on. Dark Ritual. Three, four, five. Skull of Orm to get Spirit Shackle back. Oh, you did. <laughs> I'll pay two to put Spirit Shackle on. Yep. And good. <laughs> Pass. This is brutal. Untap. Upkeep. Trigger of Tag Omega. Going to drop to nine. Then we're going to draw for turn. Underworld Dreams trigger. Going to drop it. Oh my lord. Um, <laughs> I'm going to strip one of your swamps. And I'm going to sinkhole one of your swamps. I didn't I didn't see that spirit shackle move coming. Because oh, yeah. I was doubting should I sinkhole a swamp? Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't do it because I wanted to keep the sinkhole for your maze. Yeah, that's maze. good. I, I would. Yeah, the yeah. maze is a more important. Yeah, you can always draw. You can always draw into more creatures, and then you know, Pit Scorpion dies. The spirit shackle goes away anyway. So that is true. But unfortunately, the counter comes straight away, so I can't even deal damage. I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna pass it to him. Oh, more tackle maggot bait. You already um, played two Tackle Maggots, man. I know. If I can uh, Tranquility, I put, I put the, both of them from my sideboard in the main, so... Yeah. Demonic Tutor can help as well. Yep. Um, draw a card for turn pass. Okay, I'm gonna untap. Take two from the Tackle and one from the Dreams. So I'm gonna go to five. And I gotta pass the turn. Oh, man! Uh, relic barrier. Okay, okay, I can handle it. And then, um, during your, I'll pass, and during your upkeep, I think I'll tap the Mox Jet. Yeah, sure. Then tap. I'm gonna take three damage again. Two from Tagal Maggot, one from the Dreams. So I'm gonna drop to two alive. Um, I'm gonna play a swamp. I'm gonna attack because I just want to attack. So it's gonna die. Right. Because I just want to do it. Um, and I'm going to pass the turn. I'm saying nothing. Maybe I got something. Huh? Swamp. Nova Pentacle just to play it. Pass. I'm going to I'm gonna die, man. Congratulations. Well yep. done. Yeah, that was really fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, 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 look. What was on it? Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I had a swamp in hand. I drew two swamps. Yeah, I just had a valid barrier on oh, top. Man. Now that was a fun match, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing this match. Also a special thanks for Plague Doctor and his beautiful Taggle Maggot Halloween deck. Let me know in the comments below what, uh, what you thought of both of our decks and of course wishing you a fun and fantastic upcoming Halloween and just a whole spooky season. And before you go, please uh, like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. You know what I mean, like I say it at the end of every video, but I really, really appreciate it. Also comment 
on the video. It really helps. It tells YouTube that you appreciate the content that I make. And talking about that stuff, you can also become a patron of the channel. And how can you do that? It's quite simple. Go to patreon.com slash Timmy Talks or click on the info card that's appearing right now. And that will take you to the Patreon page of our channel. And there you can check out how you can support Timmy Talks. It already starts with $1 a month. And cool thing is you get access to the Timmy Talks Discord. You can join all the Timmy Talks events. You can play against me with your favorite Halloween deck if you want, man. Just let me know. And another really nice perk is your name will be in the end credits at the end of every video. This video as well, of course, this video. Let's take a look at our fantastic, wunderbar, amazing channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee!